was going. Isn't that strange that they started from the beginning? Mm -hmm. Once Israel went into attack, the Palestinians retaliated by hitting very far, like Tel Aviv. Like yeah, because I think they ad they adapted and adapted the Hezbollah strategy that they were going to. Hezbollah did not start from Tel Aviv. Yeah, no, but they they thought that they would lure Israel into Gaza, and they figured, not entirely incorrectly, that their uh, newly created tunnel system would then cause, you know, significant, relatively significant, relatively significant Israeli casualties. Uh, Israel didn't expect that. It was quite surprised uh, by the resistance and the effectiveness of Hamas. So uh, Netanyahu uh, didn't originally want it, but the bottom line is they don't have, the Palestinians don't have remotely the capacity that Hezbollah or the Egyptian army could have inflicted. So why are we weaving you these are fantasies? Hezbollah and the Egyptian army on a party. No, I'm saying that uh, well, it was a very different kind of conflict. In 1973, it was a conventional war against conventional armies. In the case of Lebanon, it was a uh, guerrilla war, which was like, not unlike, for example, in Vietnam, where the North Vietnamese were supplied with quite sophistic very sophisticated weapons, not the most sophisticated. Uh, for example, at the time, there was the issue of whether to supply uh, North Vietnam with the most sophisticated anti-aircraft weapons. I think it was called, I could be wrong, the SAM-3. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Soviet Union didn't want to supply them because they thought that would escalate the level of conflict. Uh, but they were being supplied by China and Russia with quite sophisticated weapons, and they had on the other side the guerrilla war being waged in the south uh, by the Vietnamese, the Viet Minh. Uh, so um, in the case of Hezbollah, you had the same guerrilla force, but it was also being supplied by formidable regional neighbors with sophisticated weapons. Uh, and it took, we have to remember, it took 20 years and a significant number. What was the last, I think the final number was what, how many, I think around 600 Israeli so, yeah. uh, soldiers were killed. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're, no, we're not in that league with Gaza. It's a fantasy. And it does trouble me with all due respect for uh, Syed Nasrallah. Uh, it does trouble me that he's counseling the Palestinians to pursue a strategy which has no prospect whatsoever of success. Maybe if it is left alone. Excuse me? If it is left alone, it has no prospect. But mm. if there was a con it was concerted, say with Hezbollah. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, you know. Okay. You, you're, giving me you these, you're giving me these speculations of the order. If grandma had wheels, she'd be a baby carriage. Too okay. many ifs. And, uh, how do you view Hezbollah's situation now or capabilities? after what happened in Gaza, and after what happened in Syria. Are they embattled? Are they stronger? Did they acquire new uh, lessons out of Gaza and Syria in the same time? I'm not in a position to answer that. I've not followed Hezbollah closely enough. Uh, I don't like to speak on topics where I don't feel I have on a qualification. 